Well, another day here. We're going to install this thing today. I wanted to tell you something. Uh, as we do it, I'll give you some pointers. Well, one thing, that's a 13 mm, you know, one of them wrenches. And on the bottom, it's a 12 mm. Now, like I do on everything, I'm putting the dialectic grease on my uh, fittings. It's all greased up there. And I'll do the same on that side, the negative side, and then I'll do it when I hook it up. Now, I've already drilled a couple holes in the floor. Let's go look at those. There we are. There's the two holes. Pretty easy to see them. Had to make them pretty big to get the eyelet through. But they'll be filled up with uh, sealant. Uh, we got one over there. That'll be the positive side. That'll be the negative side, I think. It doesn't matter. It uh, depends on which way I put that in here. We haven't decided on that, but it will fit right here. The batteries are underneath there. They're right about in here. Uh, I think right about here, so I'm going to run that down. I'll show you that uh, maybe in the next clip, but uh, there's our holes. There's where she's going to mount. And I've got some extension cords pulled through here. Uh, and I'll show you how all that's going to hook up once I get this thing put in there. Now, I was hoping to be able to see it, read it, but I can't figure out. There's just too many bars in here for me to point that up so I can read it. I don't really need to read it because I got the remote. Still got to figure out where to put that. Oh, let me show you what I did to the remote. Let's go back in. Okay, you remember the remote. Well, I said I had to build a box or something to hold it because it wouldn't mount flat against anything because it's got the little thing in there. So now, I put a little tape in it to make sure that that stays down. This little box here I made for it with, I uh, used a... Uh, Brad nailer and good old glue, and then put some screws in it too. It ain't going nowhere. Now I can mount that anywhere I want against the wall and uh, put some uh, uh, Velcro on the back here so I don't screw up my wall on the RV. So that's how that's going to go now. I just, I've just got plenty of cord. I can put it where I want. <laughs> I can put it where Vicky wants. <laughs> All right, let's get back onto this, then we'll show you how it sits in there. Back to work. Well, it's ready to go. So we're going to make sure you put these little caps on there. You don't want to forget them. All right. Here's the... I got it. I'm under here. Let's get a little tight. There's the grease I'm going to use. There's the nuts, bolts, washers, and everything I'm going to use for the ground. I ground that off with the grinder. So it's got a good ground right there. That's where the ground wire is going to go. Now then... The, Oh, that's a little better when I crawl under a little further. Then your red wire is coming through here. And goes down, and it's going to hook right to here where all the other battery connections for the complete unit go. So i uh, going to hook up to uh, positive first, and then we're going to hook up to uh, ground. So we'll get done right now. And I'll show you what it looks like. Then we're going to come back in here and fill all these little gaps here and there with silicone up there and over there. And then I'll show you what it looks like upside, up there also. Hang in here, boys and girls. Well, as you can see, she's all hooked up. Got the grease on it. Got the silicone on it. Ground and... Uh, the frame so that's definitely going to be a good ground right there uh, that's all set up right there uh -huh. don't see any problems with any of that I think we're good to go so let's uh, go upstairs and show you that part okay hang on here guys here we go we're gonna set this right here Hopefully we can see it. I just turned it on. Okay, right now she's reading zero. That means it's pulling no amps. And uh, it means uh, we got 12.4 in the batteries, which is good. Which is good. So, now what? I'm going to slide that back in here. Where it goes. Lock her down. Now then, let's see if it'll power the grinder.
pretty dandy. Now I can't show you what the amperage was because I ain't no way leaving that thing running on the floor while I try to lift that up because that's going to eat my floor and me up. But it's working. Now I'm just going to finish bolting everything down up here. I got it all siliconed as you can see. Did a nice neat job. <laughs> no I didn't. But it'll work. It's jammed in there and that's the main thing. So uh, let's do the next, get to the well, next process. it's installed. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it loose down there. It's jammed in nice. It ain't going to be bouncing around. It's got things, this bar here is holding it. That little pipe's holding it. I might put a wire strip on it or something. But for right now, I'm going to leave it that way because i got to get it out because I don't have the extension cords that I need to plug into it. This extension cord right here, you see, will come up and up to right here so Vicki can pull this out and take it, do her hair over there and then just shove it right back down in here out of the way. Then we're going to have another extension cord because it's got three. One will come up and come out and that's where the coffee pot will plug in there and it'll sit up here. Then we're going to have another one that will go over and through there and up to the TV. So we can watch TV on uh, battery power if we needed to. But uh, that's it. It's in. It's working. Oh, we did get this mounted. Let me show you how this works. You'll be able to hear it. There you go. That's how easy that is to turn the power onto that. So I can have the cushions down, everything plugged in, whatever, ready to go. Then all I got to do is push that off. Yep. There you go. So uh, I got extension cord. I went down to the local store. That's the bad thing about being in a small 900 uh, person town. They did not have extension cords. Uh, well, I had some for Christmas trees and stuff, but not what I wanted. So we're waiting for them to get here. I'll plug them in, route everything the way I want it, and uh, we'll call that a done deal. Uh, hopefully it isn't on all the time and drawing juice because when I hooked it up there was a spark Now I can't have that if I had if that's the if that's the way that works it'll have to be modified I'll probably put a off and on switch somewhere so I can just turn the whole power off to it uh, I had that on the other one for the solar but not for the in the other inverter I had never did draw the batteries down but then again, it had solar power charging them all the time. This does not yet. That'll be the next thing we do. Anyway, I hope this helps you out. Uh, they, they work. It's pretty inexpensive. Uh, I forget what I paid for it. Less than 200 bucks. Uh, and I got it on sale. I forget, 150 bucks. I think got $100 off because it was on sale. Uh, and it works. That's You've seen it work. So we're going to call that... A done project looks like a mess but it's done I even hooked up the little green wire on the ground there so it's grounded I got my uh, cords hooked up so I'm gonna button it up and then I'll show you everything's working matter of fact the TV's working now uh, I don't know if I like this TV every time you turn it on you got to go through this rigmarole no I don't want network settings so let's just dismiss that and go there we go. Now we got the TV channels. And that's just that little thing hanging in the window there. We don't got no antenna on this dude. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go right there. Oh, yeah. Well, she's all put back together, ready to go. Uh, I did order some, another little uh, gauge I'm going to put up there. Uh, I might show you that. It's pretty simple. It's just a voltage uh, gauge. So I know how much juice I got in the batteries at all times. Uh, make sure that thing ain't drawing too much. Uh, anyway, we got her all hooked up. I don't know what Vicky's going to want me to do with that cable yet. But uh, I did find a good channel. Something to watch on TV. I don't know if you've ever seen that old boy before. But man, he has got an interesting channel. You should subscribe to him. And me. Yeah, subscribe to me. Uh, we'll see you soon, guys, uh, with some other project here. I'm liking it. I'm liking the way this is turning out so far. I can watch TV and not even be plugged in. What do you know? Solar next. 
Maybe. That's cost. Awesome.